What's up guys? So Apple this morning released a new beta firmware update for the developer profiles. And that is iOS 18.2 beta 2. And this iPhone update is not just available on Apple intelligent iPhones, like the iPhone 16 Pro as we have right here, but also non Apple intelligent iPhones also benefit off this new update. So here's all the new features that matter. Let's start off with the Find My ability. If you use Apple AirTags, new this time in the Find My app, when you first launch it, you'll be prompted with this new splash screen, which this allows you to actually share your AirTags with loss prevention places like TSA via a link where previously you had had access to an Apple ID to be able to share your Apple devices, locations and such. Well, now you can do it with a link. So by hitting continue, It'll take it to this page and this will allow you to basically create a custom link and you can share that link to a, again like a loss prevention place tsa where they could utilize it to help locate your missing devices so if we go into the find my app and you select your air tag on a bottom right here where it says lost air tags there's now a new share item location and in here this is where i'll walk you through the setup procedure, you just hit continue, but since our item is close to us, it doesn't allow us to get to the next page, which all it is is a custom URL, which you could copy and paste it and send it to a text message or attach it to an email. So that's really cool. Again, new features coming out to all iPhones that's compatible on iOS 18 in general. Now, next new changes can be located in the settings app. By launching the settings app, your icons on the side now support dark mode. And this also includes if you use tints. So if we go into edit and customize and we add a tint, change it to something more standing out, I guess, for us, for this video demonstration, you see our icons now change to the tint and it has like a white border. Now this is pretty cool. And hopefully this is the hint that Apple is planning on integrating these new icon changes on Apple CarPlay. Because as time making this video, I checked on Apple CarPlay, the new icons, the new dark mode where Apple icon tint is not compatible on CarPlay as of yet. I hope somebody from Apple is watching this video and make this and give us the ability to finally change that. That would be pretty cool. But as of time making this video, no, no new icons, no new dark mode or anything like that is available on CarPlay, nor was there any new features added as well for Apple CarPlay. Now these next few settings are only available on the iPhone 16s as well as the iPhone 15 Pros that are compatible with Apple Intelligence. You see, if we scroll down, let me get out of this icon real quick to make things easier on the camera to view and select dark mode. There we go. If you hop into the camera tab in your settings now and you go into camera control, we now have an auto exposure as well as auto lock ability where you can go in and actually enable. And for the side button back here for your uh, camera control, you still have the single and double click. But now if you back out out of here and you go into the accessibility tab in here, and then scroll down, you'll see a weird title error that Apple did on their side where they just left it like this. They accidentally forgot to rename it to the format. So uh, that's pretty funny. But if you click on the new error camera button title, we now have additional speed options for a long press duration, as now we have a firm, default, and lighter for the side button press. And then on the bottom here, of course, you have the preview. But if you keep going down, you can also increase it slower, slow, or default. This is the new change, not that, sorry. The slower one is the new one. And you'll also change the speed for the other speed functions as well from here. And you could continue previewing it right here as you're adjusting it to your own personal preference. So cool tools to make that side button more user friendly. But if we exit out of here and now we go into the Apple intelligence section with Siri, if you scroll down in the chat GPT extension, if you already are signed up with the ChatGPT subscription, you won't see anything here. But if we sign out real quick, ChatGPT is integrated on every iPhone by default, but you can sign in and have all your log data synchronized with your main account if you like it to. But down here where it says daily limit, it will tell you if you're over the daily limit or if you are approaching that limit, you can always upgrade to Chat GPT Plus, and this is the new splash window giving us more information about Chat, Chat GPT 4.0 and other benefits it will actually provide for us if we decide on subscribing for $20 a month. 
And if you already have a subscription, you could just sign in to ChatGPT. But I found best, better results happen when you sign in right here to the ChatGPT account if you already are subscribed. So there's that additional information Apple gave us. Additionally, if you're using Genmojis by going into the message app and then we go ahead and select our Genmoji. I noticed on some of the Genmojis that you created, now if you long hold, it will actually describe on the Genmoji description you've created to create that Genmoji. The Genmoji itself is much quicker than previously. I have seen an improvement. So if I type in like PC on fire or something like that. Oops. Oh, wait, I thought I put tire. But to give you a real world experience how quick it is now, here it is. It immediately created one just like that. Very quick, very funny. Eh, it's really interesting how well it's doing all this. But I really like that first one you can just now add. And just like that, you created a Genmoji. And again, you can just long code on the icon. It'll tell you what you had to type in to create that. So if you want to tell a friend how what to type in, you could always just do that. In terms of the playground, the playground received a somewhat improvement in terms of overall graphics. Previously, it used to look a little bit childish, I guess, but now it looks like this. I don't know. I have noticed like a small decrease in improvement, but it's still weird when it comes to using your face. But if we go ahead and add something real quick, maybe I'll try to do something different and decide selfie. Nah, it's not able to recognize that. Here's a face on selfie of mine. Let's do stage and make me a chef. See what it comes up with. And yeah, you could kind of see the art improvement, I guess. Additionally, in the mail app, these icons over here has been improved for the non-iPhone with intelligence. And then in terms of the Apple Watch, the Apple Watch also received a beta update for WatchOS 11.2 beta 2. And I do have it installed on my main device right here, my Apple Watch Ultra second generation. But for my knowledge, there really hasn't been any improvements because the Siri animation remains the same. All the app icons, aside from the Shazam app, but I believe it was already dark ever since WatchOS 11 update. I want to say receive a slight icon improvement, but nothing crazy. But in terms of everything else, it's basically the same. And disappointingly enough, Apple TV OS 11.2 Beta 2 is also available. And I thought this will be the update where we finally receive the new 21 by 9 aspect ratio for projectors when it comes to viewing your content on the projector. That hasn't been yet added, unfortunately. And additionally, the Snoopy screensaver isn't added as well, which is a massive letdown because I personally have been looking forward to the Snoopy screensaver. Unfortunately, it's not out yet. It's been extremely delayed that Apple was promising during the mid summer time and we're about to approach the end of the year and we still haven't yet received it. So just wanted to highlight that if you've been looking forward to the Snoopy screensaver, unfortunately, that's not here yet. And I have no idea when Apple is planning on releasing it. But other than that, there we have it. That is everything you need to know about this latest firmware update that's coming out in the near future or currently is available to others who are also on the developer profile. But sometime next week, this should become available for the public beta. And in a couple weeks from that, hopefully under a month, this should be available for all iPhone users. My name was Eddie, and thank you so much for watching.